back from the depths. Filmmaker and explorer James Cameron said he was awestruck by the complete isolation of the world's deepest point, the Mariana Trench, nearly 11 kilometers beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. The Avatar and Titanic directors the first person to dive alone to the lowest point of the trench. The Challenger Deep, which is only a small part of the Mariana Trench, is something like 50 times the size of the Grand Canyon. So, you know, this is a vast, you know, uh, uh, frontier down there that's going to take us a while to understand. It took Cameron two hours to descend in the seven-meter-long deep-sea Challenger submarine. The craft has high-definition 3D cameras and equipment which should allow him to take samples from the seabed. It's also specially designed to withstand the enormous pressure at the ocean floor. The whole sub actually squeezes down uh, almost three inches in length uh, when it gets to the bottom of the ocean just because of the pressure. And the sphere that I'm in actually actually shrinks. The, the window that I look out actually pushes in toward me under 16,000 pounds per square inch. Cameron described a flat landscape, devoid of sunlight or any warmth. The only free swimming creatures he saw were tiny shrimp-like arthropods. It was very lunar, a uh, very desolate place, very, uh, very isolated. Uh, my, my feeling was one of complete isolation from all of humanity. I mean, I felt like I literally in the space of one day have gone to another planet and come back. The first and only other time anyone seen the Mariana Trench was in 1960 when Swiss engineer Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Captain Don Walsh made the descent.